Oh, sweetie, I gotta film the video. I go film the video. Moosty Belgium. Y'all, Belgium just said, start your engines. <laughs> they are the first out of the block for Eurovision 20. My key. Belgium is the first country to reveal its Eurovision 2024 artist. It is Moosty. He is a 32-year-old sensation, judge of Drag Race Belgique. Yes, queen! Y'all, they've wasted no time. They announced before Eurovision New Year, those city lights were green, honey. Shall we talk about it? <laughs> Let's do this! Yay! Congrats to Belgium on making a very provocative choice. I am living for this. If you look at Moosty's back catalog, there is fantastic music. I think with a lot of artists at Eurovision, we'll give them a Google, we don't see no back catalog. But our man, he is rising. He is producing music, making music, and getting them views. I'm just on his channel right now. And let me tell you, there's an artistic sensibility here. This song, Blind, official music video, nearly half a million views, 21st Century Boy. Both of these songs, these videos, they show someone who can do pop music, yes, pop music that reaches the masses, but someone who can do dark art pop, someone who can do pop music with a soul. It doesn't feel generic. It doesn't feel cheap or manufactured. It feels like sort of, I don't know, I don't want to say mass-produced art. It feels like something, ah, it feels like art that travels, art that could cut across borders. He's got fantastic English. The lyrics feel sincere. When he sings, he could be from any country. You don't say, oh, this is someone trying to sing in English. You hear someone performing in English. What's another song? Oh, Skyline. Again, this video, it's so simple. He's like in a movie theater, in a car, where is he? It's all about his face is the point. And it's just so impactful. Alien, this song Alien. I love how in that video, it's so dark. He's like broken and weird and a little creepy. He manages to do sort of the Loic Notet darkness, but it feels, I don't know how, it feels almost tortured. And I mean that in a good way. This is like someone who's feeling a lot, living a lot. Also, he adds to that pantheon of dark art pop from Belgium, you know, the city lights, the Loic Natet. Now, I know our girl Cynic didn't make the final, but she was also very dark and artistic and beautiful. I just love this aspect of Belgium. And I think we're going to see that dark art pop sensibility at Eurovision. Speaking to VRT News in Belgium, this is what he had to say. My style is evolving towards pop with a dark edge. I have influences from new wave and rock, but they remain pop albums. I contrast pop with fragile subjects. I like to play with that. For example, my last album was a tribute to my uncle who had schizophrenia. My idea is to go to the Eurovision Song Contest with my own DNA. I don't want to lie. I want to be sincere and authentic. I don't want to create a fake character. And he has been hard at work creating his song for Eurovision. He says that it's going to come out in February. But it's not just about the song. This is part of his growing artistic ambition. He says, But I have been working in the studio for a while. I also want the song to be part of an album and not just a random song for the Eurovision Song Contest. Now, I think the fact that he is a judge on Drag Race Belgium is significant. First of all, let's clarify, he's not a drag act. Okay, and if he was, there'd be no problem with that. But he himself is not sort of coming on stage as a drag queen. No, he's a judge on the show, and the judges on Drag Race are very diverse. Different genders, different sexualities, different artistic vision. What I saw on Drag Race for him that I loved was in the semi-final, he performed his song Shame, which I love. This is, for me, probably his best song. It's dark. It's like almost like he is it's almost like glam rock, dark industrial idiom synth. Like there, there's a lot going on. But I love how dark the song Shame is, but also uplifting. And he performed that with the Queens in the semi-final, looking totally glam, giving me a little Elton John, giving me a little kiss, giving me a little glam, giving me a little modern. He's bringing lots of influences to bear, and that's what makes it moosty. Is because when you shake out all that mix, you got something delicious that you just want to bake and eat and listen to. Anyway, this is what he told VRT. Ever since I was little, I wanted to be an actor and not a firefighter or a pilot. Now I have a double career, 
actor and singer. I see music as a form of theater, by the way, creating a total act. That's why I said yes when they asked me for the Eurovision Song Contest. And you really do see that he cares about the full performance. Again, watch the shame performance from Drag Race. Giving me David Bowie, giving me performance art, giving me Lady Gaga. You know, it reminded me of Lady Gaga at the Miss Vietnam pageant, not Miss Vietnam, Miss Universe pageant, 2007, 2008, in Vietnam, where she performed during the swimsuit competition. I was like, who is this Gaga? Who is this lady? And she was singing Just Dance, and I knew her story would never be the same. I got that feeling with Moosty at Drag Race. When you watch that clip, you're like, whoa, this is an artist. Point of story is you see the full package, the performance. Watch the alien music video. Again, telling a story. We have someone tormented, someone who feels like he's from outer space. There's a lot going on. There's just so much potential here. And when Belgium hits with dark art pop, it really hits. And I am not the only Weeby blogger who is super excited. I want to hear from three of my colleagues around the world. Here is Luis in Spain, Katie in the UK, and Ruxi in Romania. Hi everyone, this is Luis from Spain, and by total chance I'm here in Belgium today. So it felt appropriate to come here to the Plaza de la Bourse in Brussels to speak out Musti, who is going to be Belgium's representative next year at Eurovision. And I'm actually very, very curious for what he's going to do um, because I feel like Belgium, RTVFs in this case, has done, has done a choice that's very consistent with what they know how to do, which is dark pop. If you look at Musti's back catalogue, most of his singles are very dark pop and very, yeah, on the line of uh, Blanche, of uh, Loic Noté. So yeah, I'm very excited for this because this basically my favorite thing Belgium has done ever when they go for dark pop. So yeah, I'm very, very excited for it. I also love that he's a judge on Drag Race Belgium because it's like, it feels so Eurovision appropriate in a way. I don't know. I'm feeling very good uh, vibes from Belgium this year. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Ruxi from Romania here and happy Eurovision 2024 season. We're starting early this year, but we're not complaining. Belgium just selected their representative Musti for Eurovision. And since he was selected, I played his albums, I really enjoyed them, I think it's something very fresh, he has his own direction, but at the same time he goes experimental, he has strong lyrics, and I've seen some live performances, and I'm pretty sure he will fill the stage. One thing is for sure, he is in the right place, and I think he is the perfect choice for Belgium to take the crown or the hat from Gustav who represented them last year. We are so excited that this Eurovision season started so early this year and we are looking forward to hear most of these songs. Hi all, it is Katie here dropping my reaction to the announcement of Belgium's 2024 Eurovision participant. I think the Belgians know that they were onto a winner with Gustav and it feels like they're trying to continue that legacy and build upon what Gustav created. We have someone who's queer, who's proud of it, who is embracing his identity. But I do feel like Musty may well be a bit more fresh. He may well bring kind of that Lorene sultriness and maybe will bring something to the table that we've not necessarily seen before. Obviously Gustav was fab, but because of you, you know, it fell into kind of a genre that we've seen before. Musty may well bring something different. So I'm really excited for this and I'm really excited to see what he will deliver for Belgium. And can't wait to see you all in Sweden. I wanna read some comments from the Wee Wee Blogs website. Lucky writes, no way. He's been in my top wish list for Belgium since last year, and it's really coming. His discography has been very impressive so far. I'd especially recommend to listen to Simple Slave, 21st Century Boy, Alien, and Skyline. Thalo says, I'm not a fan of his music, but his live vocals, music videos, and overall aesthetic is great. You know, that's interesting. I think a sign of a winning artist at Eurovision is someone who's able to overcome other people's maybe low expectations. So for instance, you may not be into Finnish rap, but then you love Karia because there's a total package involving live vocals, you know, overall aesthetic. So yeah, I think Thalo's actually giving a huge compliment there. 
Luca says, I only know Thomas Mustin from several francophone TV series, and spe especially as the talented actor from Je voulais juste rentrer chez moi, but his musical stuff seems as attractive and promising. Anonymous91 says, Love this choice, very Hoser influenced. His live vocals are simply sensational too. We are in a treat from Wallonia. And Helena says, Musti is about to continue Belgium's top 10 streak, and I am so there for it. I love the way he conveys his strong personality through his music. Personally, I'd also love to see him sing in French so he can be himself 100%. Bon chance, Musti. All right, long story short for me, I think that Musti can do very, very well based on his back catalog. I think he does, in fact, have the voice. He does, in fact, have the enunciation. He's got the stage presence. He's got the aesthetic and artistic vision. And that's what you need, the total package. We were all blown away in 2015 by Loic Nautet. You know, that was just the complete package. It, it had all the elements. And I think, again, we're seeing all the elements here. I like that Musti is a bit avant-garde. That shame performance showed me how he can marry modern with David Bowie and still stay true to himself. Ooh, girls, I am so excited. All right, well, that's what we think. What do you think? Does Musti have what it takes to bring Belgium another top 10 finish? Do you think he could even win the contest if he has the right songs? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs, and we'll see you later. Bye!